So if you're here, we're going to be unboxing the Creality A1 Falcon and setting it up. So this is just a little intro. If you're here, this is what you're here for. So jump into it. Watch the credits. Watch the cutscene because we're going to open this bad boy and set it up today. So Creality has sent us the Falcon A1, their newest laser cutter or engraver. This is a 10 watt. And then we got what's called a mini honeycomb panel. There's five pieces in here. I really don't know what this is. I've never used a laser cutter before, so this will be really exciting. Let's get into it. Let's open this up. And to open it, we're going to use our metal Wolverine claw. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, let's check this out. <laughs> oh. Creality never disappoints with their design. Whoever designs their products does really well. I always love this space gray metal finish and this orange. I wish the K1s looked like this, but if you have a Creality K1, K2, or the K2 uh, big one, the big printer, and you have this, they look great together. All their products look great together. They have really good design teams. So what they did was they installed the handle over the plastic, so we got to get some scissors. This I think just goes a nice peel. Ooh. It looks like we got a camera so we can have a live feed. This could be a standard thing, I don't know, but I find that really cool. So we are greeted with a power supply, some giblets, I don't... I don't know what these are. These are foreign to me. There's our Allen key that we could use to get that front plastic off. Our key, two keys, some USB-Cs, a coupler for an air vent. So this is what it looks like it comes with. We have an exhaust pipe, a hose clamp, air assist equipment, silicone tube, power supply, bass wood, base wood, test calibration card, rotary kit, Multi-level fixed focus block, type A to type C cable, anti-static brush Allen wrench user manual. So here's the tube. This is what you'd run outside or to an air purifier. So you just have the smoke ventilated. So you just put it outside the window so you don't have the smoke build up in here. Like I said, I think this is an air thing. And here is the little board that it comes with so we can cut something for this video. We have a calibration card and some of this. And I do have my laptop, so we will be able to test this and hopefully get something really cool. So this is what it looks like with everything out. Nothing is plugged in or turned on yet. This lid goes down. And then you have that nice camera. I'm curious if that will record our time lapse. And if it does, we'll add that in the video. Then we got our uh, actual platform of the area that can cut and you got a nice front lid and we got to take this handle off to get the rest of that off so now it's time to open the second mystery box we're, we're going to figure out what this is because this is the only accessory they sent us once again we're going to take our handy dandy claw to open this bang you know what what i'm curious while we're opening this tell me in the comments, what got you into laser cutting or interested in buying a laser cutter? I've never bought one. I'm just curious if this is like for work or if it's your hobby, if you do Etsy. Let me know in the comments. It's open. Okay, so I got a lot of accessories. It looks like they sent me more than just a five piece honeycomb thing. We have a lot more to open and unbox. I do not know what these are. This one's really heavy. Okay, so it looks like maybe they got me in a box with a lot of stuff. Look at that packaging. That's how you do branding. Look at that Creality. Good job. This is sweet. So this is our first one we're gonna rip open and take a look-see-loo at. 
I'm telling you guys, you gotta get a Wolverine claw. Wolverines are hard to come by, but if you find one, get a claw. See what this is. Okay. Oh, it's cutting material. So they sent us one, two, three, four, five. I think around nine to ten boards. So we got a lot of cutting to do. Okay. Oh wow. We got more cutting boards. More three millimeter cutting boards. This is the same thing as the previous. I'm wondering if this will be acrylic. Oh, we got lots in here. So this, these are protected with a, uh, a mat on them. So this is what we got. We got information cards. So if you want to pause the video and scan these, you can if you want information on this. So this is green, orange, pink, and then we have black. And these are all three millimeter thick. I'm assuming that's what this laser can cut with. Could be, or it could be more cutting material. Nope, it's the honeycomb, Let's see it. So let's open it and find out. So here's this grate. So I think all we do for this is slide it into the machine and print on it. So first what you'll do is slide the collar around your vent. And then we're going to slide this vent over the exhaust. And that's what it should look like when it's on. And then you'll move this collar to right about here. And then you're going to want to tighten this so it clamps on there. And to get this hose on, what I would do is try to get a few metal rings to the base and then separate the one separate a ring in between this band and then really try to push it in there and get this as close as you can to the back of the machine and then tighten it this way. Make sure it's on this side or the other side. It's a lot easier if you can just do it from this angle rather than the side. And then when you get that set up, you'll want to vent it outside the window. Luckily for me, I have a screen that can be pushed to the side and then all that bad fume will be pushed outside instead of in. And then you'll have to set up your air purifier pump. This supplies air into the machine and it keeps the lens clean, the laser diode clean. So all you do is plug this pump in right here and this, and you just have to leave it off to the side. So we have got the A1 completely set up. Yes, it won't be the prettiest because you have the cord's on the right, and you got the tube coming out the back. But if you're from this angle, it looks great. So let's turn it on and see what happens. I really don't know because there's no screen on this. So I think we're going to have to, uh, I think we have to connect it to our computer to control everything and see what's going on. Like I said, the manual is okay, not the best. So let's, let's check it out. So now we have the Falcon software installed and to connect it, you had to run that USB cable to the side of this and have it connected to a computer or laptop. Laptop's going to be easiest because it's not a long cord. So now we have to place the wood that it came with inside of here so it can run its equipment testing. So we unscrew this, there's two screws on the side. So now I just touch that, tighten these up. Now we close the frame and we click frame on the computer. And then I think we click start. If not, we'll hit the emergency stop. So that's what it did. It just did a F for Falcon. It will waste that piece of board, in my opinion, so if you have something else to test, like a smaller piece of wood, do that. I was stupid, I picked the biggest piece of wood, even though they sent me smaller pieces. 
So I'm going to be cutting this out on this board for the final thing. So the image finally finished. Uh, this, I did go over it once and it was light and then I had it re-go over it to darken it. And that was the mistake I made that I had it go and darken some areas. But not so bad. I am learning on how to do this. I like it. So now I'm going to actually cut this out and see if we can actually just pull it out. All right, so it finished cutting. That only took one minute. And to see if it works, I'm gonna lift, lift this out of her edge up. And look at that, it cut it out. That's so cool. And then we can actually take our little picture out. I don't enjoy necessarily that I darken the picture too much, but it is cool. I mean, you can make a lot of cool things with this, especially once you dial down your settings. And I will leave a link in the description if you want to get the Falcon A1 after seeing this video. I know it's not a total review, but hey, I just got this thing, don't have experience with it, and I was able to do this. So you might be able to do the same thing. So please check it out. Tell me what your thoughts are in the description. Maybe check out this laser. It is Creality. Creality has been a name in the game for a while. So with that, I'm gonna go explore more things with this and make more YouTube shorts using this machine.